And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Temperatures today got up into the upper 50s and lower 60s away from the lakeshore. Lakeshore areas were in the upper 40s and lower 50s. And this was the day to start off the official start to spring, which occurred early this morning at 437. I was well sleeping by that time, but it did wake up to some beautiful sunshine. Many of you also did see that. A gorgeous day when temperatures are supposed to be on average the lower 40s. We were well above that over 15 degrees and we had a lot of blue skies. It was hard to even see a cloud in the sky, but with the sunshine and the dry weather, we did deal with some fire danger right now is the peak of that fire season where we have the dead vegetation after winter before the spring vegetation grows in here. We had a very high risk of fire danger and probably the same thing for tomorrow. Take a look at some of the fires that were occurring west of I-41 earlier this afternoon that some of the fire brigades had to ta uh, tackle. As we continue into the evening, the winds are still persisting out of the south at 5 to 15 miles per hour and will continue to do so. Matter of fact, they'll start to crank up during the day for tomorrow out of the southwest. Gusts upwards of 40 miles per hour at times and we'll need that because those winds are going to bring up those temperatures well into the lower 60s away from the lakeshore. Lakeside areas will struggle to only get into the mid and upper 40s. Maybe if you're lucky, getting near 50 degrees for your high temperature. But the reason why we're seeing all the gusty winds and that flow is a strong air of high pressure moving off to the east. So we got the return flow from the south and then we got an area of low pressure that's moving up to the north. There's that warm front. So we're going to be in the warm sector of this. However, cold front moves in late tomorrow night into Monday morning. That is going to provide us with a chance of some light rain showers and you already see some precipitation right now over the Rocky Mountain Range exiting the Rockies and moving into the central and the northern plains. Close look here at home shows some mid and upper level clouds building in here from the west. That's not going to be a problem for us as we head into the day for tomorrow, but we are anticipating a gradual increase in cloud cover as we get into late tomorrow night. Starting to see some light rain showers from Mason City west of Wausau. This travels eastward as we head into our day on Monday. Isolated rain showers during the day on Monday, but a better chance of more steadier rainfall as we head into the day for Tuesday as a much larger area low pressure moves right over Wisconsin. And this is going to provide us with a good soaking rain with totals anywhere from about a half inch to even exceeding an inch or inch and a half to some parts of the Badger State. So right now we're cooling off into the upper 30s and lower to mid 40s. We've got the coolest spots in Manitowoc, Sheboygan right now at 36 degrees even. All right, cooling off to mid 30s tonight. Winds out of the south 5 to 15 miles per hour with calm and clear skies. Tomorrow we'll get up to high of 61 and that will be the warmest day of the next seven days. 57 on Monday, a few sprinkles, mostly cloudy skies. More steadier rains move in here on Tuesday and Wednesday with temperatures in the mid 50s. Start to dry things out as we head towards the end of the work weekend to the weekend with highs right around 50. All right, thanks, Gino.